Hey, my friend, this is Mike. So this morning, my wife, Darcy, comes up from downstairs after watching the Today Show, and she says, they're talking about you on TV. And I thought, literally, my first thought was, are they talking about me, Mike Weaver, from Columbus, Ohio? Did I say something or do something that's now on social media somewhere? Nobody told me about this. Like, what is happening? And I said, really? And she says, yeah, they're talking about what we talked about last night. I went, oh, last night. What happened last night was I said to her before we before we went to bed, I said, I'm just feeling kind of blah, bland. I'm not sure why. I can't put my finger on why I'm feeling this way. Just kind of, eh. And she said, this morning on the, the Today Show, they talked about quarantine fatigue. What a lot of Americans are experiencing right now. And I went, oh, that's it. This quarantine fatigue. And maybe you're feeling that way right now too. Maybe you saw the same story. There's, um, uh, there's stories out there how Americans are responding to this new experience of quarantine fatigue. So how are people responding? They're going outside. They're gathering in public places. If they're living on the coast, they're going to beaches. And the beaches are becoming crowded. They're going to parks and the parks are becoming crowded. And the risk of that is it's decreasing social distance and increasing the, uh, the opportunity for the virus to spread even more. And so there's a great risk of responding to this quarantine fatigue by leaving home and going into public places and gathering with other people. And I get it. You know, I, I feel the same way too. It's a tired, kind of blah, kind of a bland feel. So I thought, what is a response as Christians? And what does the scripture say about quarantine fatigue? By the way, it doesn't. No, duh. There, that, those two words don't appear in the scriptures together. But within the scriptures, there is a reality of social distancing. Uh, and the Apostle Paul and many people in the Bible felt socially distant from other people. And so I thought, what's the wisdom that we can draw from the scriptures that can help us deal with this quarantine fatigue that many of us feel today? So briefly, I want to share with you just a couple thoughts about that that I hope is encouragement to you and a source of wisdom to respond well to quarantine fatigue without decreasing social distance, uh, like going physically into gathering places so we, uh, that we increase the, the transmission of this COVID-19 more and more, but instead we respond in a better way. And my hope is that this does just that. So very, very briefly, um, if I, there are two instances. One is 2 Timothy uh, chapter 1, verse 9, Paul writes to the person Timothy, who is an apprentice to Paul. They were apart, and Paul's writing a letter to Timothy, the second letter that we have. And Paul says in verse 9, chapter 1, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. So Paul understood this longing to be with other people, to be with Timothy, so he can find joy. And I get it. I long to see people too, and maybe you do as well, to be in the physical presence one with one another so we might be filled with joy. Yes. And then Paul writes in the Romans, uh, Romans chapter one to the church in Rome. Um, he says this in verse 11 and 12, I long to see you, that is the church in Rome, the people there, so that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to make you strong. That is, that you and I may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith. And there. I love that. Look, he recognizes that there's a mutual encouragement happens when we're physically together. And he's longing for this, but he's also recognizing it's not possible. That because in the first century, physically, they were distant apart, they couldn't be there. So what's the wisdom there? He was resting in his longing. He was waiting in his longing. Look, he wasn't trying to solve the problem of longing. He was simply expressing a longing. We can express that longing too. It is what it is but we have to wait within the longing, knowing that longing that longing will be requited at some point in the different timetable, maybe that than we want it to be, but we can't rush it. And Paul couldn't rush it. He simply was waiting within it. And we wait patiently within that longing to be with other people as well. The second thing is he expressed himself. He expressed that longing to other people. And we can do the same thing. We can tell people, look, I, I can't wait to be with you. I can't wait to gather with you. Like, I can't wait to gather with you. I miss you guys. 
And I've seen teachers say that about their students. They miss their students. And of course they do. But we can express that. And when we express it, we're expressing care and concern and love for one other. For one other. And that's something that satisfies our souls. And lastly, we can pray for one another. Paul, in letter after letter after letter, will say to the Christians that he's writing to, not only he longs to see them, but he says, I remember you constantly in my prayers. And we can tell each other that we, and, and I literally do that, remember each other in our prayers, and then tell each other that. And when we know that being, we're being prayed for, there's something deeper that satisfies us when we're, we're, we are remembered, we're prayed for, we're thought about, and we can do that for one another. So my friend, I hope in this time of, of quarantine fatigue that you do just that. Just rest in that longing. We're all in that place. Uh, don't respond too quickly or react too quickly. But just wait on it, knowing it's going to come that, that, that will be satisfied at some point down the road. In the meantime, reach out to each other on a constant basis, as you've already done, but continue to do so through all these means that we have right now with technology and pray for one another and tell each other you're praying for them and thinking about them right now. Hope that's an encouragement to you. Look, if you have more information about how to help our quarantine fatigue, put that below and we'll be happy to uh, read more ideas. Look, we're in this together. We're, we're walking down this road together. So I look forward to uh, reading those. But my friend, know that I miss you. I, I appreciate you thinking about you and uh, look forward to seeing you physically sometime soon. Until then, my friend, be blessed today. Take care.